Hello, I'm Doug Groom from Geometrics. And today we're going to be talking about the Geometrics MagX. This is a cesium magnetometer uh, for land magnetic acquisition uh, using the new Geometrics developed uh, MFAM cesium sensor. And the topic today is going to be uh, issues with the battery and battery charge. So the first thing we need to do is access the batteries which are in the back. So we pop off the cover for the batteries. And now we're going to remove the batteries. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the wires to the batteries. Remove the connectors. There are two yellow connectors and two white connectors. One yellow and one white go to a battery. The other yellow and the other white go to the second battery. Okay, now I can remove the batteries. We are using uh, lithium polymer batteries. There are two batteries in here, and both of them are 11.1 .1 volts, uh, meaning they, they've got three lithium cells in there. And it can run on one battery. So the batteries, once the, the most charged battery runs down, the second battery automatically takes place, um, takes its place. And uh, the important thing is basically the form factor. And uh, there are a number of different manufacturers of these batteries. You can buy them from Geometrics, and they're sold as an option. Many people like to source their batteries locally. And with these days of drones being everywhere, these batteries are available practically everywhere. This battery happens to be from a company called HRB Power. You can find this on Amazon. Uh, you can uh, Google this and go to other uh, providers. It is a 5,000 milliamp hour, uh, five amp hours, 11.1 .1 volts, tested at 50 C. And we just happen to have another battery in here. You can use two of the same. It doesn't even have to be these particular brands. Uh, uh, this is uh, Senkaku uh, 7100 uh, amp milliamp hour, so that's 7.1 amp hours. The critical thing is the 11.1 .1 volts. 11.1 volts. So uh, as long as these are not exactly the same form factor, one is a little bit deeper than the other because it's got a higher amp hour, uh, this will probably run it for about 12 hours on this single battery. And this one would probably like eight hours, perhaps. OK? So. Let's look at the wires coming out of the, the instrument. OK. There are two of them. One goes to one battery. The other goes to the other battery. 
on the yellow conectors. There are also two of the white conectors. You will notice that one of these has a black mark on it. One of these has also a black mark on it. The two black marks are a pair. Whoop. The two black marks are a pair, and they will go to one of the batteries. It doesn't make any difference which battery, but uh, you don't want them switched up. So we are going to, uh, these are going to be recharged, but let's say these are the replacement batteries, and we're going to stick these in. And the black, yellow, is attached to that battery. And the black, white, is attached to that battery. So now we have two connectors with no black marks on them. That's a pair. And that pair will go to the second one. You notice there are no black marks on the, uh, on the battery connectors because it doesn't matter which battery you plug it into. So we will connect this. And we will connect this. They are keyed, so they won't go in upside down. OK. Yep, yeah, that's why you put it in first. OK. So they are now in the battery bay, in the battery compartment. And so I've removed the other batteries. So I've put them on the chargers. And I've reconnected this. The important thing is, is the two wires that are part black goes under one battery. The two wires that are not go under the other battery. If you get them mixed up, and then uh, it's not going to work. So now what we're going to do is we've got a jumble of wires here. There is a little shelf up at the top. So I am going to put the thicker wire up into that shelf up there. Kind of get it out of the way. And do the same thing with the other one. This makes it a bit easier to store. And again, you just put the cap back on. And you're ready to go. Push the button and all the fancy lights and the noises and lights are for another explanation. Okay, there are a number of chargers that you can purchase and you can buy these from the same people that you buy your batteries from, you can get them from Geometrics, or you can get them from whatever vendor you're using when you buy your batteries. And most people, even if they buy the initial batteries from Geometrics, will buy any replacement batteries from a local supplier. First thing I'm going to do is Plug the battery charger in. There is a power connector on the back. And it's pretty obvious this is the only one that this cable will fit into. We plug it in, and it powers on. Now, this particular charger, yours may be different, but this particular charger 
has a multi-connector cable to the battery um, because there are lots of different types of batteries. And we're going to use the one with the yellow connector, just like is on the battery. So I am going to connect the battery to the yellow connector. And the other ones you can ignore. And the other connector, the white one, which is the balance, is going to go into one of these slots. And again, because there are many different types of batteries out there, um, that there are a number of different slots. But this will only fit in one place because they're all keyed and they have different numbers of pins on them. Okay, so that's in there. And we've got the power cables, positive, negative, and there are the connectors for the power cable on the charger. OK. So now everything is connected. The power is connected to the, uh, to the current. This is a multi-battery charger. There are some two simple steps to go through to define which battery it's charging. On this charger, and of course, the first thing you're going to do when you buy a charger is read the manual, because this may be different from the charger that you have. On this charger, the first thing we need to do is tell it what type of battery it's going to be charging. And we do battery type, we hit battery type, and now I can change the status. Uh, this is a lead acid battery, and remember this is a, uh, a lithium uh, polymer battery, LiPo. That's a uh, nickel nickel cadmium. Lithium battery, okay. So we've got a lithium battery. Whoop. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Lithium battery. And we hit enter for the lithium battery. So we're at lithium, we hit enter to save the lithium. And we can change the status of this, of what we're going to do. Uh, storage, discharge, balanced. Because there are three different cells in each battery, uh, we want to do a balanced charge. So we go to balance, and we hit start. And it starts charging. So let's talk a little bit about storing and shipping the lithium batteries. Uh, typically, you're going to want to discharge the battery before shipment uh, to about 30% of full load. Do not go below 5%. Above 30%, 40%. Um, there is some risk in shipping. Below 5%, there's an equivalent risk. 30 is the ultimate 
discharge on these batteries. Uh, now, this goes for any lithium polymer battery, uh, not these in particular. Uh, I would recommend that you get a LiPo safe container for shipment. And this particular one will hold two batteries of that dimension. And it's just a safety precaution. And there are other shipping regulations that will be local to you. Um, so it would be a good idea to find out from your, uh, your local transportation uh, if there are any issues with shipping batteries. Typically on airlines, you can hand carry on, uh, in, in, in your passenger carry-on luggage uh, the lithium batteries without an issue. If they're put in check bags, and then uh, there may be additional regulations that are required than the way to, uh, to store those batteries. Well, thank you for watching this geometrics video about the MagX magnetometer. Uh, you can get information about all of the, the geometrics products online at www.geometrics.com, G-E-O. M-E-T-R-I-C-S, and uh, it has information about the MagX, as well as our other magnetometers, seismic equipment, and uh, EM equipment. Thank you.